Today, we're gonna to talk about monitors, specifically seven inch monitors. So why would someone invest in a seven inch monitor over a five inch? Depends on the camera rig, right? If you're using the monitor for an onboard camera monitor, then you're gonna to have to consider your camera size. For instance, if you're shooting on a DSLR or a, a mirrorless type camera rig, then you're probably gonna go with a five inch just because it's a little bit more appropriate for the size. And the seven inch, it gets a little too top heavy, if you know what I mean. We all like top heavy things, but not in this case. Ah, it's inappropriate. If your camera rig is a larger setup, then a seven inch would probably be more appropriate to have on. Five inch will get the job done, but seven inches, once you try seven inches, you won't go back. So in this review, I'm not gonna go through like all the technical details, compare and contrast what the features that each of them have. And then afterwards, I'll let you know which one I would choose. This one is the Shimble Memory Pro. And then right here, we've got the Atomos Shinobi seven inch. That's a mouthful and they both sound similar. So I'm gonna refer to this one as the Memory Pro. I'm gonna to refer to this one as the Shinobi. The Shinobi here has an all plastic build, while the Memory Pro has aluminum construction, which is very nice. Feels like it's gonna last a long time if you drop it. Let me know down in the comments if anybody who owns an Atomos monitor has dropped it. Even though it is plastic, it feels like it is kind of like a very high grade kind of carbon fiber feeling plastic. So both of these monitors are 2200 nit, which is great for viewing in daylight. They both have SDI as well as HDMI inputs and outputs. What you'll probably notice when you turn these guys on is that the Shinobi turns on a lot quicker than the Memory Pro. The Memory Pro takes about 15 seconds to uh, boot up while the Shinobi only takes around five seconds or less. We're gonna talk more about that later, but right now I just wanna let you know that there's a significant difference between the boot up time of both these monitors. When you boot up the Shinobi, the fan fires up pretty loud, but then it dies down after a few seconds. The Memory Pro is fanless, so it makes virtually no sound at all. The other big difference that you'll probably recognize right off the bat is the fact that the Memory Pro is a recorder, while the Shinobi is just a monitor. When I say recorder, you take that with a grain of salt because it will record to an SD card, but they record very low res H.264, kind of almost proxy kind of versions. I wouldn't use the files that it records for final output because it's pretty low res. That said, it is nice to have the option in case you want to record some dailies or something like that, or just record to an SD card and hand it off to somebody, a client or something like that. Another thing I noticed also with these two monitors is that the touch screen on the Memory Pro is actually a lot more responsive than it is on the Shinobi. You have to kind of like tap on a couple times here and there sometimes for it to register that your fingerprint is touching it. So that's a small kind of minute detail, but it's not that big of a deal. Another big consideration when purchasing a monitor is to consider how intuitive the operating system is, the OS is. I'd probably give the win to the Shinobi just because there's less sub menus you have to go through, which makes it more easy to get lost in finding the setting that you're looking for. All right, so let's talk image quality because that's probably one of the hands down most important things about these monitors. The Memory Pro has a standard resolution of 1080p, while the Shinobi has a resolution of 1200p. Another significant difference between these two monitors is the fact that the Memory Pro supports 4K 30 frames, while the Shinobi will support 4K 60 frames. So as you can see, both of these monitors have a fantastic display. The color rendition is gorgeous. The contrast ratio is the same. The Shinobi seems a little bit brighter in the highlights, but that probably comes down to the fact that the Shinobi is a 10-bit monitor, whereas the Memory Pro is only 8-bit. You can see in the shadows that there's a little bit more banding and uh, noise in the shadows where the Shinobi just seems more of a crisp, sharp image. If image quality is a thing for you and you want the top of the line kind of image quality, then I would definitely recommend the Shinobi since it is a 10-bit monitor. Okay, so I know that this wasn't the most technical kind of review or comparison between these two monitors. However, I feel like I have spent enough time with both of these to kind of give you my own kind of conclusion on which one I like better. Here's my conclusions. On paper, there's a lot of cool things about the Shimble that I really like. The build quality is really nice. It's very slim profile. It's not as thick as the Shinobi is. It feels premium and well-made. It just feels like a legit piece of gear that's gonna last you a long time. I was very impressed out of the gate by the quality of the image and how bright it was while shooting outside. The fact that it's fanless is a huge plus because there's virtually no sound coming from this monitor, which is awesome. But that also may come into play because it takes a while for this thing to boot up. The fact that it takes 15 seconds to boot up might sound like not a big deal. 
However, for me, in my situations, 15 seconds can feel like an eternity. Now, I don't know about you, but reliability is king, and I just wanna make sure that my gear is gonna work quickly, and that's why I'll probably end up using the Shinobi on set more often. If speed and reliability isn't as big of a thing for you, then definitely I would go with the Shimble Memory 7 Pro. I'm gonna go with the Shinobi just because it feels more like a reliable piece of gear. All right, the last thing I wanna talk about is the price. The Shimbal Memory 7 Pro is retailing right now for about $479. Automos Shinobi is retailing for about $599. So there's about a $120 difference here. And if cost is a thing for you, then I would probably definitely recommend the Memory Pro. So thanks again for watching this review. Please feel free to leave any comments down below about which monitor you would choose and why, as well as let me know if I got anything wrong because we're all here to learn. All right, guys, take care. Cheers. Happy shooting, motherfuckers.